What's cooking everybody? It's Dor and in this video we'll be handling the first phase in the Polestar Expedition in No Man's Sky. I will of course take you on my journey and show you how to complete the entire first phase and give you tips and tricks on doing so as fast and easy as possible. And so without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So to start the Polestar Expedition, make sure to select an empty save file and then choose the rightmost option for the Community Expedition, for which you have still 5 weeks in order to do so. So after loading into the game, you'll notice that you will wake up aboard your capital freighter. Now the first thing I like to do after waking up is going into the options menu right away. Make sure to go towards the network tab and make sure that, well, multiplayer is disabled, that's entirely up to you. The one thing I would disable right away is of course to allow PvP with no one. Of course you can also adjust some of the other settings while you're at it as well. So after you tinkered around in the settings, it's of course also always wise to go to the Expeditions tab and to go over all the milestones you'll need to complete, as you can see which ones you could combine. Make sure to select a different milestone and then reselect the Log 1 Emergency Milestone. You'll see that the new Expedition Log entry is available and to speak to the commander to access the record. So make sure to walk up to him and do so. Select the Access Ships Logs. And of course, after doing so, the Log 1 Emergency Milestone will be completed. Of course, make sure to head back into the Expedition tab to collect your rewards. Which is a Starship Inventory Slot, Salvage Frigate Module, 2 Wiring Loom, a Cargo Bilkhead and the Purple Paint. So you can add the uh, slots immediately to your ship. So after doing so, I would recommend to select the All Hands on Deck Milestone which will require you to repair the critical freighter systems. If you open up your freighter's inventory, you'll notice that the atmospheric control unit, the freighter hyperdrive and the matter beam are all broken down. So starting with the atmospheric control unit, this will require 60 chromatic metal, 30 gold and 1 wiring loom in order to fix. These are all items you should have at this point. A hyperdrive will require you to insert 250 chromatic metal, 2 antimatter and 2 antimatter housings. So make sure to put the chromatic metal in. Now of course, to create the antimatter and the antimatter housing, we will need to have some more condensed carbon and some oxygen and ferrite dust. But this will complete the all hands on deck milestone. And I will reward you with 2 antimatter, 3 starship launch fuel and 2 repair kits. Of course, you can immediately enter the antimatter into the fre freighter hyperdrive. Now it will only require two antimatter housing in order to be fully fixed. Now of course when you just start a game what I also like to do is to make sure that you move all your technology into the technology slots and if possible of course have them touch each other for an adjacency bonus. You should also have received the cargo bulk head unit, make sure to head towards your upgrade terminal. Here you can select add additional storage and to select one of the slots you want to increase on your freighter right away. And of course this is possible for your general inventory, your technology inventory and your cargo inventory. So next up, make sure to select the planet side milestone and to make your way towards your starship. Get into your starship and take off. Fly towards any planet and land on it. Once you have, of course, make sure to check your surroundings for the items you'll need to survive. And of course, the planet side milestone will unlock right away. And claiming this will reward you with the refiner room plants, 210 oxygen, a band hazard protection upgrade and a powerful mining beam upgrade. Make sure to immediately install the hazard protection module. And of course, have it touch your hazard protection for an adjacency bonus. And I would also recommend to immediately install the mining beam module onto your multi tool and once again have it touch your mining beam for an adjacency bonus. Of course, this is also a good moment to get in and out of your starship to create an auto save, or of course, to place down the save point to create a manual save altogether. Things you want to keep an eye open for is sodium, and also make sure to mine some dehydrogen when you come across it. Of course, also make sure to harvest some carbon and to harvest some ferrite dust as well. 
So once you have enough carbon and the hydrogen, make sure to create the hydrogen jelly and two carbon nanotubes. Go to your multi-tool and of course make sure to install the terrain manipulator. I always recommend on installing this right away as it is a very handy tool. Especially also to be able to shelter on the ground for storms. So once you have, it's time to track the well-oiled machine milestone. Which will require you to construct a refiner room on your freighter. You will need to have 60 silver, 2 dihydrogen jelly and 45 gold in order to do so. So make sure you have enough dihydrogen to at least create the other 2 dihydrogen jellies needed for the refiner room. And then return towards your freighter. Get out of your ship and walk up the stairs. Across the bridge into the build wall area. Once there, open up the build menu and select the refiner room. Of course, select the space you want to place it down and do so. The well oiled machine milestone will be completed and this will reward you with a warp hypercore and a storage room plans. You cannot choose to select the engage engines milestone, which will require you to warp into a new system. But what I would recommend before doing so is to return towards your starship. Get into it and fly out of your capital ship. And then make your way towards the space station. So once you've landed on the space station, make sure to exit your ship. Entering any space station and exiting your ship will make sure that you can always revisit this space station later via teleporter. And of course, if you walk up to the Exosuit Technology Merchant, you have the option to upgrade your Exosuit Technology slot. You can do so, of course, in the general technology or cargo slots. After doing so, make sure to head back into your ship and fly out of the space station. So before returning towards your capital ship, I would recommend to select the supercargo milestone, which will require you to construct a storage room on your freighter. We previously learned the blueprint from the well-oiled machine. You will need to have 50 silver and 20 sodium in order to create a storage room aboard your freighter. So make sure to fly towards the planet and keep an eye open for some more sodium. What you could do is skim the planet's surface and keep your eye open for a yellow glow as these sodium plants will leave a yellow glow around them. If you found a cluster of a few plants, make sure to land next to it and to harvest them. Also always wise to keep your eyes open for a copper deposit like this one and to make sure to mine it with your terrain manipulator. So once you feel that you have enough sodium to ensure your survival and of course to construct a storage room, make your way back to your starship and fly towards your capital ship. Aboard, return to the buildable area and build the storage room in a place you desire. Once you've done so, the supercargo milestone will be completed and this will reward you with the interstellar scanner plans and two salvage frigate modules. If you select the Galactic Catalog Milestone, this will require you to install the Interstellar Scanner. Open up the phrase menu and go to the Technologies tab, and then select to install the Interstellar Scanner. This will require 70 magnetized ferrite, 160 chromatic metal, and 2 wiring loom. Head up to your large refiner to refine some copper into chromatic metal. So once it's done, make sure to extract the chromic metal and then to immediately put in some ferrite dust. Use the chromatic metal to repair a part of the interstellar scanner. And once the refiner is done refining, make sure to interact with it, if that's possible. Hello. Not letting me interact with it. Ah, finally. And then put the pure ferrite back into the machine in order to get some magnetized ferrite. And once it's done, extract it and make sure to use it on the interstellar scanner on your freighter. Now all you need is one more wiring loom. Wiring loom is easily retrievable from the space station, but we will need some units in order to do so. Next to this we also still have to fix the hyperdrive for our freighter. Create two antimatter housing for oxygen and ferrite dust and completely fix the hyperdrive of the freighter. And of course you can put it in your technology slot to free up some space in your general slots. Now in order to earn some money to be able to buy some wiring loom, I would recommend to head back onto your ship, fly out of your capital freighter 
and to fly towards the caustic planet Hubble Beyond. Use your analysis visor to track down a natural burial site and tag it. Once there, use your terrain manipulator to excavate the site and to collect the ancient bones. I got a decent haul from this one burial site, but of course, if you want, you can rinse and repeat this in order to get some more, in order to make more units. Get back into your ship and fly towards the space station. Once you're at the space station, make sure to make your way up to the galactic grid terminal. Interact with it and go to the cell page. Of course, make sure to sell all the ancient bone fragments you've just collected. Once you've sold everything, go to the buy page. And then of course make sure to buy some wiring loom. Once you've done so, get into your starship and fly back towards your capital freighter. Open up your freighter's inventory and select the interstellar scanner. And of course insert the wiring loom. When you exit out, the galactic catalog milestone will be completed. And collecting this reward will reward you with 2048 nanites, a powerful movement system upgrade and a powerful pulse engine upgrade. Of course, I would recommend to install both upgrades right away and to make sure that the movement upgrade is touching your jetpack for an adjacency bonus. And same goes for the pulse engine module aboard your starship. Next up, I would recommend to not check the engage the engines milestone but to select the Rendezvous 1 milestone instead. Make sure to walk up on the bridge and you'll see warp hypercore on the warp drive of your freighter and then head towards the freighter warp map. The expedition route should be tracked and the first jump will bring you in the Tarnash 11th system. Make sure to warp there. Once you are within the system, the engage engine's milestone will be completed and it will reward you with the warp hypercore plants, the salvage hyperdrive upgrade and the amplified warp shielding plants. Of course, make sure to install the salvage hyperdrive upgrade and to have it touch the hyperdrive for an NJC bonus. Now I would recommend to head up to your starship, get into it and take off. Locate the space station and fly there. Of course, once again, do this in every system you visit and make sure to get out of your starship. Of course, do this to be able to return to this system and at a later stage via teleporter, but also for you to expand your access suit with yet another slot. And after the first warp, you will also be able to summon the anomaly in space, so make sure to also do this in every system you visit to be able to add yet another inventory slot to your access suit. While I'm flying towards the anomaly, I want to ask you to please leave a thumbs up if you actually liked the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you did most. And please subscribe to see more Nomad Sky content in the future. So once you are aboard the anomaly, make sure to head all the way towards the back. Right here next to Iteration Selene, you'll find an access suit upgrade machine. Once you've done so, you can return towards your capital freighter, walk up to the bridge and interact with the freighter warp map in order to resume warping towards your first rendezvous point. My second jump being into the Ahirat Kuitu system. Of course, once again, when you're there, make sure to make your way up to the space station and towards the anomaly. So once you have, walk up to the bridge to make your final warp into the Higara Riki system. Once you're there, walk up to your ship. Of course, visit the space station and the anomaly, and then make sure to make your way towards the first rendezvous point. Make sure to land your ship at the approximate location. Get out of it and use the target sweep function on your analysis visor to home in on the exact location. Make sure to check back regularly to see if you're still going into the right direction. In this case, it's a giant craft freighter and once you get close by, the running for one milestone will be completed. And collecting this milestone will reward you the magnetic resonator plants, 3333 nanites, a salvage frigate module and two inventory slots. And of course, this will also allow you to conclude phase one of this expedition. And this will reward you with the Pilgrim poster plans, the Polestar poster plans, and the heavy shipping poster plans. And that was all for this video on the first phase of the Polestar expedition. I'll make sure to jump over to my other save real quick to show you the posters you've just unlocked. And this is how the three posters look like when you place them down. So we have this very cool one with the freighter going above an Earth-like planet, a graphical drawing of a freighter, and then another freighter who seems to be flying really, really fast. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this guide and that it was to any good use to you. If you're missing anything, please let me know in the comments down below what that is. And of course, I hope to see you in the next one.